I am putting out the um, voice, discerning the voices on BRBDO here shortly. I just wanted, I think that music's too loud, hold on. That's better. I just wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys a little bit about dealing with your haters, okay? And how you win every time. Okay, so number one, the first thing I would suggest is putting on Abba's eyes when you have a hater. Immediately ask, um, just, um, it's just a natural thing for me at this point. I don't even have to ask, but I've been on this journey for a long time, right? So, um, and if you guys are like, well, I don't know how to put on Abba's eyes. I mean, I don't even know Abba. <laughs> you know, some people like, um, your higher power is eyes. Okay. Um, trust me when I say Abba knows you and loves you. And you have not because you ask not. Ask. And keep on asking, knock and keep on knocking, seek and keep on seeking, and you will find. So, um, but if you're still angry at your haters, like you're like not there yet, right? <laughs> like you, you're still in your feels over it. Okay. Um, so we're going to pause. The more you ascend and the more you are in alignment the more you walk in enlightenment, right? And all the glory goes to Abba, so don't get it twisted. I'm not pumping myself up here. But what I'm saying is, I've gotten to a place where I almost completely separate from my emotions. Like, your body literally has a soul, a spirit, and then there's you, all in one, if that makes sense. And that's a little bit more deep and I might make a whole video just on that, okay? But we're just gonna pause if you're still in your feels and we're gonna leave that there for a second. We're gonna go back to putting on Abba's eyes, okay? Or your higher power, okay? I'm just 144. You know what time it is, right? But uh, my higher power is Abba, okay? Yeshua and the Holy Spirit. Um, but for those of you, you know, if you're not comfortable with that yet or not able to process that or still on your journey or you already think you know your higher power in a different enlightenment, great, use that higher power, okay? Whenever I say Abba, okay? But I'm gonna say Abba because that's my daddy. And Abba's taught me everything I know. <laughs> well, all three of them. They work together, you see, in unison. Anywho, um, <clears throat> uh, when I have a hater, I can almost transcend. I almost have like an out-of-body experience. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, but most of the time, I'm not in my feels. But it's taken me a long time to get there. And I, I, I do have an in, initial reaction of being in my feels. Um, there is such a thing as a righteous anger. Uh, and, and that is different than being in your feels. Okay. There's levels to this shit. Okay. So a righteous anger is like when um, Yeshua went into the church and found them them using it like a store, right? And he was turning over everything and and um, he wasn't happy. Okay, um, for those of you that are having a hard time understanding what I'm saying about the righteous anger, I'll probably make a whole nother bit on that, okay? But just to hop in, in for a second, I'm just gonna say a righteous anger will be divinely guided. 
You'll be led. You'll be led to say what you say. You'll drop the mic and you'll leave it there. You won't keep chasing after it. Okay, that's a lot of times how you can tell it's different between a righteous anger and being in your feels. Because in your feels, they'll just keep on keeping on. You know? Um, trying to bicker, trying to fight, right? But a, 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 if, if you have a righteous anger, it's like you say what you need to say. You drop the mic and leave the, leave the mic on the floor. Never pick it up again. What was said is said, period. Right? Does that make sense? Okay. So I hope you guys are following me. I hope I'm not like all over the place. I'm trying not to go too deep yet. Right? I'm just trying to kind of surface level it for you. Um, okay. So opposite eyes. Usually when I have someone hating, which I can usually tell because of the energy, I read energy. And um, you'll just sense the lower vibration, number one, but you'll also sense the dishonesty in whatever they're saying. Um, you would have to be a, a level enough in your enlightenment to where you can probably separate your feelings a little bit to put on Abba's eyes for sure. Okay. So that's your homework guys. If you, <laughs> if you aren't there yet. Okay. Cause anybody, and it's very important that you are constantly wearing your armor. And for those of you that use a different higher power, hopefully your higher power has some form of protection for you that levels you on every playing field in the spirit that you're attacked. Right. Because, um, the full armor of Abba um, covers every area except your back. And you don't need that covered because Abba's got it. <laughs> but um, the point. Um, when you read the energy and you see that it's a lower vibration or frequency than you're on, obviously. Um... First of all, you have to get out of the ego and not judge them, okay? And you do that by putting on Abba's eyes. So, you need to remember everything is spiritual, right? Our battle is not against flesh and blood. So, that's another reason we put on Abba's eyes. Because you can see in the spirit, you see. And then you see what you're really dealing with. And many times I will see a small child that's been beaten by their adult parent, or I'll actually see something that happened to them as a teenager or whatever it is that made them broke, right? They're broken um, or not broken per se, but they're, they are stunted in their growth of enlightenment to the point that they're in that stagnant area of dark energy or frequency to where they're hating, right? They haven't evolved. Does that make sense, guys? I hope I'm making sense. And I'm not, it makes sense to me, but I don't operate like most folks. So <laughs> hopefully this is making sense. Um, so if you can put on Abba's eyes, that's like the best thing to do every time, right? Um, if you're still in your, and, and, and that is another way that you'll know it's a righteous anger. Cause if you put on Abba's eyes and you are still angry, then this is different Then the, then there's a purpose behind your anger and it's a drop the mic moment. Right. And I'll do a whole bit on that, but we're just gonna leave that alone for right now. Okay. We're going to leave the whole putting on Abba's eyes, all of that. Hopefully that made a little bit of sense. And for those of you that don't know how to do that. Like I said, ask, just ask, ask Abba for Abba's eyes. Ask to see the world through Abba's eyes. But FYI, be prepared. But hopefully when you put on Abba's eyes, you are able to empathize with the person you see in the spirit realm and their pain. And then you're able to operate from a place of love 
agape. And go from there. All right, we're just going to leave that there. I'll do more on that another time. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's say you are not there yet. You, you've asked for Abba's eyes, but you know, you're still learning that whole thing, right? Um, it's not smooth like butter. You feel me? We're growing. <laughs> we're making progress. Uh, not perfection, so no judgment to anyone. That is my whole, that's, I mean, be the change you wish to see in the world. Progress, not perfection, baby. Like, period. Okay? But, um, so if you're not there yet, no judgment. But I do um, highly, strongly suggest you start or begin because these last days there is um if you're want if you're wanting to make it into the 5d you're going to have to operate in agape because the meek are going to inherit the earth and the meek you need to think of as a supreme power under control so think muscles rippling bridled stallion at the gate but they're not moving till that gate opens and the person riding them tells them to go power supreme power under control right okay and so the meek are going to inherit the earth folks in the last days, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So if you're wanting to make it, you need to begin to operate in this way. Okay, so let's say you're still in your fills. You're learning the whole Abba's eyes thing, right? The most important thing you can do, and, and there's a difference between a hater and someone who's called you, caused you tremendous pain obviously right but they can be both so don't get it twisted but most of the time haters are not quite on the level of the child abuse trauma thing right haters low-key love you they just have no spine right so um regardless you treat both the same the trauma bonding or the trauma, the pain, whatever, and the person behind it you, and, and the hater, because what a lot of people forget is everything spiritual, right? So, so you're not fighting the person. You're fighting the shadow. Okay. And I can already hear you guys, but spirit, oh, that's leaving the person, you know, not taking responsibility for their actions la la la, then they can just always blame it on the shadow and not themselves. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I understand what you're saying and thinking, but what I'm saying, what I need you to understand is you're not telling them anything about this. This is you against the shadow. Everything in the, is in the spirit realm. Okay. Um, I mean, just imagine telling your hater, you know, <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the shadow. They've got their own battle to face. And trust me when I say, <laughs> Abba will make sure they grow. Or, you know, they do have free will. But believe you me, the lesson will be given again and again. And again, and every lesson is open book. <laughs> and it'll be up to you, the person, the hater, or the person who causes you tremendous pain to decide whether they want to elevate or remain in a vicious loop or figure eight, if you will, right? 
And that's a whole nother vid for another day. We're just leave that there, okay? But point, your battle is against the shadow, not the person. And you know, your hater might freak out. You're like, oh, I'm not talking. Um, um, I doubt many of you will say, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the shadow. If I believe if everyone started doing that, we, we'd be in the 5D already, honestly. It's uh, this little thing right here that people aren't eating enough of. You understand? Or they are, but it's the shadow they're eating, right? Not the good fruit. Not the, uh, you know, organic bananas and apples and blueberries and strawberries of the spirit. That's pretty deep. We're going to leave it there. I'm trying to stay surface level for you guys. Okay. Um, I know 144 caught that. I love you guys. Um, okay. So, point. Back on track. So, if you're still in your bills and you can get to a place where you understand that everything's spiritual, which is super important. So, if you aren't there yet, definitely start there. Okay? Um, I really can't talk to people about defeating anything until they're there. So, start there because that's the very beginning. Okay? Um, once you're there, though, one of the best ways to deal with most haters and people that cause you pain until you can get out of your feels is to say, and I quote, I choose and will to forgive you, whoever it is, for whatever they did. You know, I choose and will literally say it out loud because we're speaking fruit, right? And we're eating thereof. So I choose and will to forgive X for Y and Z, right? And then um, in your higher power's name to seal it, right? Um, I was saying Yeshua's name. And oh, and so it is, therefore let it be written, therefore let it be done. And then you are written in the spirit realm. Then we've stepped from physical to spirit, right? And even though you're even though your feelings are fickle and they're all over the place and they're just, you know, you're still mad, sad, glad, whatever, whatever your feeling is about your hater. Okay. You've already written the spirit. I like to also say after that, after I choose the will to forgive them, I like to say, you know, I don't feel like forgiving them, but I pray that you Abba would make my feelings line up with my actions eventually. And feelings are fickle, so they don't matter. What matters is I choose and will to forgive. In Yeshua's name. A whole and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. You understand? Because whoever you do not forgive, my darling, you will not be forgiven. Energy cannot be. Everything's energy. Energy cannot be destroyed or denied. If you're putting out negative energy towards someone, it's going to come back to you. Unless you transmute it. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I'm teaching you a very surface level beginner way to transmute. All right? And everyone who wants to make it into the 5D must begin walking in agape. Okay, so, and, and, and I know there may be a lot of people that do not speak in tongues. I highly suggest you begin to learn the language of angels, okay? It can sound all kinds of different things, all kinds of different ways. But what it is, is your spirit has, is murmuring, okay? And it's speaking to your higher power. And there's a communication going on that the shadow cannot understand. And your spirit knows more about what you need than you do and can voice it to your higher power faster than you can. So it's, it's very important that you learn how to speak in the language of angels or in tongues sooner rather than later. 
Okay, I'm not saying it is a requirement to get into the 5D, but I am saying it is crucial in enlightenment, right? It is, a, it is crucial in order to grow. Um, most of the time, you're not going to know what you're saying. Sometimes you will. Sometimes Allah will reveal it to you. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes someone else will reveal it to you. Okay, they'll overhear what you're saying and they'll speak that language, whatever it is. Some people click with their tongues. I mean, some people, you know, speak African, Chinese, you know. Mine is very ancient. I'm not sure what it is, but... Yo, and I, oh, well, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it could be Atlantean. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is it hasn't always been that. It's grown, right? And I can honestly tell you, I would not be where I am with my higher power um, if not for speaking in tongues. So I highly suggest, and you, and you guys are going to be, you're going to feel so weird when you first do it. You're just, it's just going to feel so foreign to you. You're just going to be like, why am I doing it? Like, it makes no sense. But remember, your spirit knows what you need and can tell and communicate that faster than you can. Okay? Um, I remember being a child. I don't know if you guys have gone to my excerpts of my biography, but in one of them I talk about how we had to heat up water in a barrel. Um, and I lived on 14 acres. Well, one time I was having to gather sticks, right, to heat up the barrel. And all of a sudden I was just overwhelmed with all of it. And I fell on my knees in the middle of the forest and just began saying over and over and over, Amor, 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 Amor. Like, I mean, I don't know. And this is something very important to do alone. Don't do this in front of other people. I mean, unless you feel led like in a church service or something, you know. And those of you who knows what it feels like to be led knows what I'm talking about. Okay? But for those of you who you're just starting out, don't do this in front of other people because it's going to just make you even more uncomfortable. Do it by yourself, alone. And just think of it as, this is a way I'm in the world, not of it. And I'm connecting with the source outside of the world. Right? I'm connecting with the 5D. Because you have to know they operate on a completely different frequency. And obviously, language. Right? And we need to speak that language. And it's going to be different for everybody. It's going to sound different. And it, you know, back to my amour, um, you know, come to find out, I was saying love over and over and over. Apparently amour in, I, I think, in Latin and in Spanish and in Italian, I think. Maybe it may be even more language. I'm not sure. Um, all means love. So I had just fallen on my knees and was saying love over and over and over for I don't know how long. I mean, it could have been hours. So, obviously, I'm no longer speaking that language. I'm speaking a different one. And and sometimes when I sing, it'll sound different. So, what, the important thing is John 3, 8. You follow the wind, right? You go with the flow. Don't resist what's needing to come out of your mouth. Whatever it is, just let it flow. Because you are connecting with another dimension. Okay, so sometimes you will be able to know what you're saying because other people will enlighten you or you'll find out for yourself, whatever, right? Um, but uh, most of the time, you're not going to know. Sometimes when I'm praying, I can actually hear in English what I'm saying, even though I'm not speaking English. A lot of times, I'm just seeing images in my mind. Um, the important thing is, not that you really know what you're saying, but that you're, you're communicating with the divine on the divine's frequency. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so 
that was really deep for those of you that are still at surface level. Um, and I'm not judging anyone at surface level, please. I was there. We've all been there. We all have to start there. Okay. And it's important to start there. So please start if you haven't, because things are going to begin moving very rapidly in these last days. You understand? Begin with Ephesians 6. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 20. Okay? If you have nowhere else to begin, you know, start there. Read that every day. Meditate on those verses. Okay? Even if you're not a believer in Christianity per se, understand what those verses are saying on another level. Look at it from an energy perspective with an open mind. You understand? Okay, we're going to leave that there. Now, I brought this up because make sure in English you speak out loud. I choose and will to forgive X for Y and Z. Say in your higher power's name. Um, I would ask, you know, to help you, your feelings to catch up later because you're, you're, you're showing your higher power that you truly are coming from a place of agape by doing that. Um, so try to do that, but it's okay if you don't, you know. Um, that's just something I suggest. And um, if you're still in your feels after that, because obviously your feelings are not going to go away just because of that, then just picture the person and start speaking in tongues. Just see their face. And just speak in because then you see you will begin not only forgiving this person in the spirit realm but you will also be praying for their healing and well-being in the spirit realm and it will all happen much faster than if you just use your regular language not only that but it will also help you kind of get out of your feels because you're you're really learning to focus more on communing with the divine right You'll begin to, anyway, as you start, right? Um, and slowly your person will fade and you may see more faces, other faces, maybe other people that have wronged you. This is a great level one entry place to start, okay? Um, if you are not yet able to put on others' eyes, so, and I would highly suggest reading Ephesians 6, 10, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 20, first out loud, then saying the prayer out loud, I choose and will to forgive X for Y and Z, so that that's written in the spirit before you just begin speaking in tongues, because you want to make sure what you're speaking in tongues is of agape, of pure of heart, of the betterment of humanity and the world, right? So until you are able to just automatically wake up, wake up and have your armor on, you know, you can telepathically put it on. You can telepathically, you know, I, I still, even to this day, always say I choose and will to forgive X for Y and Z out loud because it needs to be writ in the spirit out loud in your language. Um, now, that's not to say you can't speak in the language of angels and not um, it, it not be for the betterment of humanity without saying I choose and will to forgive someone because um, you can speak in the language of, of angels at any time, right? It's just important that when you're doing it for a hater or someone who has caused you great pain, you need to make sure you're in alignment with your higher power and in, in, in so that you can ascend and you're separating your feelings from the work that's needing to be done in the shadow, right? Does that make sense? I hope I am making sense versus you're happy-go-lucky, enjoying your day and all of a sudden you get goosebumps all over your body and you begin speaking in tongues. Right? That is different because you're already walking in agape. But when your feelings are that of anger or, or a darker vibration, not a righteous anger, right? You're just in your feels. 
you need to make sure that you are in alignment. Okay? So, hopefully, um, because this is entry-level stuff, guys. Hopefully, that was um, helpful for those of you. And I will be back soon with another video. Um, I love you guys. And I just love you guys. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. Love y'all.